Hey there, Geeks. Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today showing you how to add or remove cast to device. Looks like this. We're going to take this off of your context menu. So anytime you right click on a video, picture, or music, you have the option to cast. So if you'd like to get rid of it, we can. Because this gets pretty long when you do click on any kind of media. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you, I've had a few problems with this. Some cases I've had to run this file twice. It doesn't always work right the first time. Maybe I just need to reboot. I don't know, but it works. So, follow this link in the video description, and you can download Add or Remove Cast the Device. Click on Download Now, and you will get the files here. Extract those two, they're batch files. I'm putting them on my desktop for now. And who knows if that's part of the problem. I'll show you what I mean with getting it to work properly. So there's two ways you can do this. You can remove by clicking it or you can run as administrator. I'm going to try and just click it first. And your screen should flash. Your taskbar will kind of look weird. Everything will disappear until Explorer restarts. And let's see if it worked. Sometimes you'll also get a screen, a smart screen will pop up as well that tells you that Windows has blocked it. You can go ahead and click on run anyway if that happens to you. Let's see if it worked. Nope, it's still there. So let's do remove, run as administrator. Let's see if it worked that time. Gone. So try one or the other. Now, I know a lot of you are watching it going, well, do I run as admin or not? You should know better. Listen, I know I should. It's Windows. You, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I've done it as admin, and it worked. I've done it as regular, and it worked. Let's put it back. So now that we know it worked as administrator, let's go ahead and right-click and run it as administrator and see if it works. If it doesn't, vice versa. I actually hope it doesn't just so I can show you how stupid some things can be. Ah, it worked. So there you go. It's one way or the other. Run as admin or don't. If it was me, it's a batch file, I would try to run it as admin to begin with. Oop. Let's just see. There you go. So try it as run as admin, see if that works for you. Nice, neat little thing. And again, you can always put it back by adding it back. So there you go. Thanks for watching. As always, see ya.